hello friends uh, i'm back with another video so today what i'll show you i'll in this video i'm going to show you how to use a grads free software there is a software called grads to convert the binary data into the into the gis data special data so you may be knowing that a lot of free weather data is available on the internet such as temperature rainfall in india imd is providing indian meteorological department is providing the daily grid data temperature and rainfall data for free in binary format so a lot of people face problems in converting that data to the useful format in excel or shape files or gis uh, format so a lot of people ask me about this so so i i thought maybe i'll make a video and put it on the web so anybody can make a use of that so i'll show you how to use the open grads data grads data for converting that file uh, binary file to a shape file so first of all we'll download the grads software so i'll write open grads just go on google and type open grads on the open grads.org and click on the download on the left side of the web page it will redirect to the some some website source forgenet.net and in this just drill down and just uh, see this grads2 folder click on that then in that uh, grads2 then it will ask you the version so i'll go for the latest one click on 2.2.1 then it will ask you the platforms for windows and under the windows you can see here dot exe file just click on that you will be able to download that i have already downloaded that so here grads 2.2.1 superpack.exe so just double click it so i am using the windows 10 machine 64 bit machine so for this there is one trick which you need to do while installing it just don't install in the by default place just browse it go under c and just install this software in program files x86 folder so if you will if if you will not install this uh, software under program files x86 folder your software will won't work properly this is for windows 10 machine 64 bit machine because in windows 7 it is okay but for windows 10 uh, 64 bit machine you you have to install this under the program files 86 folder just just change it to this Click it next, next, and just check on this. Add application directory to your system path. Then next, then install it. Hardly in one matter of seconds, it will install. Make it next. So you see the software has been installed properly. Now, secondly, what do you need? You need a data. So I'll show you some demo data from IMD. Indian Meteorological Department Pune. Just type go on Google, type IMD Pune and just go on the official website, click here. Then on the left side you have a link for daily min max min temperature. Just click on that. On the left side of the panel you have real time data download, maximum temperature and minimum and rainfall. So I'll show you one old example only. Suppose max temperature. Just click, click on the max temperature as a rainfall you have minimum temperature you have so I'll go for the max temperature so here down the download option is a daily data down, uh, download option is there so I'll go for February I'll go for 16th of February and I'll just download this so I have downloaded the max 16022019.grd graded file this is the binary file and one more thing you need to download is control file sample ctl file control file that you have to download uh, so if you do if you don't if uh, you don't have control file so you have to create that here it is available so then it is okay it is not very difficult to create control file i'll show you how to create a control file if you don't have one I have control file, I have a grid file. So one control file is for one grid uh, grid file. So if suppose you want to import 10 files, so you have to create 10 control file for that. Control file is for 
single file so i am creating this control file for this one the path on the this one i think this is another i'll remove this from the top first line here you have to give the path of the grid file which you want to import which you want to convert so just here it is i'll just path to the grid file then this is showing the 0.5 degree this is showing the undefined value wherever the value temperature data is not available the 99.9 value will come it is showing the number of grid points in x direction this is the number of points in y direction 61 61 is there this is a starting light long point of the x this is a start so uh, let it, starting latitude this is a starting longitude this is the spacing spacing means 0.5 degree spacing is there z means the elevation is nothing time means how many days data is there so in this file only one is there so here you can change the name also six you need not to do that this is just for showing purpose okay so if you may you may be you may be having a file grid file which are uh, which may be having more than one data for year also because i have seen some files which had 365 days of data so in that case this tdef will be 365 days data in a single file so you can import that also so now after and, and then it's showing the variable t so whatever you write here the variable will become that so t variable means temperature so this is the sample this is the sample control file which you have to create you have to give the path of the file suppose you have any second file for 17th of february then you have to create another control file and you have to give the path of that file so we are done with the so if you don't have any control file you have to create this you need to know how many x points are there how many y points are there what is the starting latitude what is the starting longitude what is the spacing what is the date many days data are there so all these things you need to know for creating the control file luckily IMD has provided all these things just I'll save it now I'll show you how to to convert this file Loaded. so it is asking the landscape mode or portrait mode you can let it just click enter just push enter so this window has come now and here also ga is come so it means now you can write your commands so first command which you need to write is open space make it space and then just give the path of the ctl file wherever you have placed the ctl file You have to write open and give the path to the control file and make it enter. So it have it has scanned the CTL file, computed the starting light long, ending light uh, sorry starting latitude, starting latitude, ending latitude, starting longitude, ending longitude, and all that things. Now what you can do is open as file one. So you can open number of files uh, number of files here. So like I have opened one file, you can open ten n number of files file open file 2 file 3 file 4 like that so now i'll query it i'll make it q u e r y query file number here file 1 file 2 file 3 so if you just query file it will query the file 1 only it has again giving you the details of the file so x size y size z size t size everything 
what is the name of the variable now if you want to just display the display the variable so just click on uh, just write, type d d for display space the name of the variable is t here the contours of the template contouring 5 to 35 minimum 5 to 35 at the interval of 5 so from the from the 5 degree temperature 35 it has created the for rainfall the contours will be more if you have rainfall data or any other data now if you want to convert it to shape file so what you have to write now you have to write set then shp shp is mean shape file now you have to give the name of the shape file type of the shape file so now we'll write set and what type of shape like point line polygon so i'll just make a dash and pt for point so i'll create a gridded data space and give the path along with the name where you want to store the where you want to create the shape file so i'll give it again e my path i will give I'll, I'll give the simple name max and shape file and just I'll just saying shape file output file name is this shape file output type is point and format is this attribute format is this and now whatever variable you want to write to the shape file that you have to type d name of the variable d for display name of the variable is t temperature is t and just saying 2860 grid points value written to the shape file here is your shape file next temp so i'll show you how you can use this software this is also free software you can download now you have exported your grids data easily longitude the longitude latitude grid value like this if you have suppose 100 well 100 files 100 uh, grid files like grd files so you have to create 100 control file for that and one by one you have to import so this is the way of importing one by uh, one by one but in grid there is an option of you can create a dot gs file in in that you can do the looping also so later on i will upload that video also because i have created for i have once i had around 50000 files so i create a program for that i have made a loop i have created a loop for that so automatically it has created the shape files or you can you can convert it into a excel also in csv format so later on i will upload that video also how to convert the uh, this binary file to a csv file rather than the shape file i may be having right now some of this files these kind of files like gs file so these kind of files you can this kind of code you can write looping while you can open the file and you can this time these kind of codes you can write for loop, looping your data so i'll show you in, in the future videos uh, i'll upload some of the videos like that and i'll show you also if you have uh, num around 365 days data in a single file how to extract that also so in that case we have to write d this is the variable name and t is equal to e means t equal to 1 t equal to 2 t equal to 3 whatever day you want to export then you can write t equal to 1 2 3 and if you put a, put a loop through it 1 to 6 is like this where i have put it inside a loop so 366 times it has created the loop and it has it has exported the data into the csv that i will show you in the later videos so it is a simple video just how to convert a simple binary file to a usable format so so what i'll do i'll just copy these commands and i'll put it in the description also thank you thanks for watching